Getting from place to place is often an afterthought, but the constant use of transportation puts it at the forefront of today's society, making it a vital part in sustaining our livelihoods and the environment. This is Anna. As a dedicated nurse with strong family values, she faces the difficulty of commuting from her home in Lower Austria to the hospital located in Vienna. Anna is currently a personal car owner who commutes 40 to 55 minutes each way every day, though she is open to switching over to more sustainable, affordable options. She often travels at home at night. When she is able to commute by train, however, the large intervals between train times make this sometimes an infeasible solution. Anna's circumstances also exemplify the consequences of the first and last mile problem, which represent the distance it takes commuters to reach from their homes to public transit stations. This additional issue can also make it difficult for commuters like Anna to find public transport, transport options that are safe, accessible, and convenient. Here from a VU student facing similar commuting issues to Anna's. So I think when it comes to sustainable mobility, you always have to fit the demand and only pro provide what is needed and being used and not just provide anything because I myself come from a small town in Lower Austria and apps like Uber just wouldn't work there. It wouldn't be profitable because people don't make use of it and they just don't need it there. Demand responsive transit offers environmental benefits through greater efficiency as it provides personalized public transportation services for people in low population density areas. In rural or village areas, for example, buses might often end up empty because the established stops do not serve the people in the surrounding area well. This leads to inefficient fuel use and reduced mobility for citizens. Here is how our solution works. People are able to book the service through a mobile app that uses location-based data to bring the bus, car, etc. to where the user is located. The driver then takes the user from the pickup point to the desired destination using an algorithm to determine the most effective route to pick up commuters along the way. This offers travelers like Anna the opportunity to address the first mile, last mile problem, providing a great way to connect people from low density areas to regular transportation hubs like train stations. Let's work on making transportation more environmentally conscious and accessible for all. By providing flexible multimodal options for commuters to choose the modes of transport they need when they need it, and in the form of a convenient mobile app, let's work towards making transportation um, better for every Austrian citizen.